A Cook County Sheriff's Officer fired for wrongdoing filed a lawsuit and is now back on the job. And taxpayers may have to give her hundreds of thousands of dollars in back pay. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas explains how that can be. Dixie Rios reports for work at the Cook County Sheriff's Office today despite being fired in 2014. She was accused of interfering in an investigation involving her brother, an alleged high ranking gang member. That is not true. First of all, let's make this clear. But it was a technicality that got Rios back on the job. A judge's ruling that Sheriff Tom Dart's merit board that fired her violated a rule requiring board members to serve six year terms. Thank goodness the courts are holding him accountable for these illegal appointments, and the taxpayers should as well. Because taxpayers are now on the hook for the nearly $300,000 Rios is owed in back pay. They might have won the battle, but I won the war, and this is not just for me, this is for other officers out there that are fighting the same pretty much um, issues. Officers like these three who also face misconduct charges before the merit board until today. The sheriff's board has conceded the county has conceded my clients' cases have been removed from the docket. Cooper says up to 200 officers suspended or terminated could be cleared and receive millions in back pay, just like Rios. Is she the tip of the iceberg here? She is the tip of the iceberg. The sheriff's office said in a statement, we will continue to defend these matters that seize upon a technical issue and involve employees who engaged in the most serious misconduct possible. Legislation awaiting Governor Rauner's signature would solve this issue with the makeup of the merit board going forward. But the state appellate court already ruled that cases processed between 2011 and 2015 are void. Rob, Erica. Okay, thank you, Roseanne.